So ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, dear friends, uh, dear Professor Peters, uh, it is my pleasure to uh, launch officially today our new Center for International Law. I'll just say a few words about the background uh, because Veronica will then talk in more detail about the plans, her and their plans for, for the center. Um, the background from, from um, the, the rationale uh, for our institute, why we are establishing uh, centers like this one, because it's not the first of its kind, uh, is a concern, a deep concern. Of, I, I think a, I, I might even call it a troubling development in social sciences in general, and that is growing specialization. In a, I might even say fragmentation. We are talking a lot across our national borders. We talk to friends from IR in the United States and elsewhere, but somehow we do not really talk to our friends in uh, disciplines that are quite, quite close to political science and inter international studies. Even inside our country, not to speak to, to our friends from other disciplines abroad. So our idea was to uh, sort of change, or at least to some extent, counter this, this unfortunate trend, uh, somehow to reverse it, at least as far as our institute is concerned, and, and focus more on the murky, shadowy areas in between, on the margins, so to speak, on the borders between disciplines, because we believe that you know, all the topics we here at the Institute are interested in, in fact, are not purely, there is not a single one that would be purely international relations or political science. Let's take migration as the, the big issue we uh, uh, have been dealing so much in the last year or so. This is clearly a topic for international relations, but not only. I, uh, some people like Veronica, I'm sure, might even argue that it's more a topic, a legal topic, than a topic for for IR, and of course it has a uh, economic dimension as well, it has a sociological dimension, and so on and so forth. So the idea was to establish centers that would somehow transcend these uh, artificial, I would say, disciplinary borders. The first center we established uh, last year was the Center for European Security, which is quite active, and those people from the Institute know that I'm not a fan of using economistic terms in, in, uh, in academic research, but I do hope that the centers will compete a bit there, perhaps inspire, emulate the best practices there. Um, and so uh, the center was established la last year, focused on a number of issues, not only regarding uh, Czech foreign policy, but also um, EU uh, policies. We contributed a lot to, uh, to shaping uh, the EU's global strategy. Um, but also we have been talking a lot about, about global trends. We simply cannot talk about narrower trends without taking into account the broader, the broader context. And I do hope, and I'm convinced about that, that this new center will also uh, put forth topics and, and, and perspectives uh, like that one, and thus contributing to, to you know, this, this big ambition of ours, this big goal of ours. We, my, my personal dream is that next year we'll continue with establishing the third center that should be focused then on international political economy. Again, a mix, uh, mixture of uh, political science, international studies, and, and macroeconomics, you might call it, international economy. Uh, but enough about my plans, because the, the day today is not mine, it, it is of the, belongs to the center. So with that, uh, I would like to wish the best of success to, to the center. Uh, and I pass the floor to Veronica for her introduction. Thank you. I think you have heard enough of me today already, so I will try to be brief. Just adding a couple of information about uh, the center. Following the structure that you find in the leaflet, that's why I, I use the time distributing the leaflet, so I will just briefly say who we are, what we want, what we want to produce. I could say that the center is quite modest in its size, but quite ambitious in, in its plans. So hopefully we will, we will manage to uh, carry out these plans, though the ambition is not to compete with another center. I think we can't. That's also that's a different field. 
So let me introduce our center briefly. Uh, so far, it has three members, and all of them, the one hidden behind you, are present here in the room. So it's me as the coordinator of the center, then my dear colleague from Hungary, Dr. Tamás Latman, who will be given the floor in a minute, as, as my colleague, as the senior researcher in the center. He, just, he has just joined us, coming from Hungary specifically, to be here with us, and we are very happy to have him. And then the last person, last but not least, is Mr. Tuma, who is behind, who is a specialist in nuclear weapons. So if you want to get one or you want to use one, then the president, he will advise you. So even, even more ambitious than I yeah, thought. it's even more ambitious than I thought. In that we can conclude, I'm sure. Uh, now, the ambition is to keep the center rather small, but then to have an extended network of collaborators, and we have already established contacts with some experts, mainly abroad. So, for instance, one of those who have promised to cooperate with us is Professor Rona Smith from the University of Newcastle, who is currently the UN Special Representative for Human Rights in Cambodia. So we have a very nice promises from people who who will work with us. So much for, for the team. Now, as for the research profile, this is the Center for International Law. And as you know, or as you can imagine, international law nowadays is a very vast field. We hope to follow more or less what is happening in international law in general. But at the same time, being just three of us, we obviously need to focus on something more specifically. And we have decided on purpose to focus on these areas that you find here. That means the use of force and the fight against terrorism, human rights law, international criminal law, international humanitarian law, international organizations, and the theory of international law. The choice has been made in light of our research profile and also in light of the preferences of the Czech foreign policy. As you know, for instance, human rights law has been a long-standing uh, priority of the Czech foreign policy. And since the institute has an institutional link to the, foreign, to, to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We respect this. So this is our research profile. Finally, the outputs. We want to produce outputs both in English and in Czech, though it doesn't look like this probably today because we are only using English. But for me, it's very important to have a bilingual, at least bilingual. We can also use Hungarian yeah, and maybe <laughs> other languages, but English and Czech would be the basis. And I really insist on having them both present because I think we as researchers at this institute have a threefold responsibility. First of all, a responsibility towards the international academic community with which we would like to cooperate and exchange ideas and uh, discuss all these challenges. And this was an example of, 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 of uh, such a cooperation and such a discussion. Secondly, we also have a responsibility towards the institution which originally established uh, this institute, and that is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And we, we have already for, for years, and we intend to do so, we intend to produce uh, policy-oriented uh, outputs that would be useful for the Czech foreign policy. And finally, again, last but not least, we have also a responsibility towards, towards the Czech public who has the right to learn more about international law, to get information and get legal analysis. And obviously the Czech public welcomes information in Czech. We respect it, we think it's natural. So what you can expect from us is to, uh, books, articles, policy papers, and other written or oral products that will be both in Czech in English. I think that's enough from my side. And now I will turn to my dear colleague, Mr. Tamás Latman. Thank you very much. It's really an honor and a privilege to be employed by this prestigious institution. When I was applying here for the job last autumn, when I have seen the public call circulated around in the academic sphere, uh, I was applying it because of the reason why I was very much inspired by the original ideas that could show up in the, in the call for applications at that time. And personal reason for why I have applied here is that I wanted to focus a bit more in my professional career on professional reading finally and writing some more publications that I had the chance doing before spending 15 years in higher education in law and international law which was vastly covering training in military as well at the same time so it's a real pleasure for me to have the opportunity to work here thank you very much for the trust that you have put into me I hope it's going to be uh, justified in the end uh, I am spending I'm finishing my first month here in Prague I enjoy it very much 
Um, I think that this is a very inspiring working environment. I enjoy it quite much. Um, I completely share the ideas that Veronica has just presented to you. Basically, of course, that is the reason why I'm working here. Um, and I just can say now thank you. And you just leave it to I'm also personally in hope that, that we are going to have a very nice, prosperous future together. Yeah. So thank you. And maybe just to mention what you can expect from us in the nearest future. Then in the nearest future, and that means really the next week, there should be a, the first how do we call it? International Law International Spotlight, law right? Spotlight. International yeah. Law Spotlight, which means a one-page analysis of the trial of Nadia Savchenko in Ukraine published, which should be followed by a short description of the terrorist uh, measures adopted in the Czech Republic. You might have noticed that the Czech Republic has just introduced the different threat levels uh, in uh, for, for terrorism, so there will be also an information uh, about this uh, in this series of International Law Spotlight. And then I already mentioned that we have started working on this research project on the use of force against ISIS. Now our work is much easier because our dear guest <laughs> has made a part of our job. So that means also that you can expect that because we will no come... Because no threat of plagiarism. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that, we will, that we will come to some conclusion that will hopefully be helpful also for the Czech foreign policy in, in a couple of months, because obviously, as you could see, the, the, the topics are very difficult to, to handle. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you very much. And now, please, uh, you are all you know, invited to join us in, in the ante room in the hall for a small refreshment and a, and a, and a toast, of course. So please join us.